Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great today. Um, so this is pick a card reading as you can see. Um, this is, <clears throat> let me just clear my throat for a neck. Uh, who's giving you the evil eye? So for part one we have um, fluorite. I think that's fluorite. You know what, I don't bloody know with these bottles. Can't really tell. This I can tell. <laughs> part two, it is pink um, quartz. Rose quartz, should we say. And with this one, we have um, Amazonite. So, whatever pile you're drawn to, I'll see you at your piles, guys. Hey, pile one. So, this is your reading. And don't forget, these are energies as well. So, you anybody can embody the, the King of Swords. You know, if it's female that you're dealing with, that can still be female energy and um, so let's get started here so the first card I've got quite a few cards here we have events which is travel so this person could travel a lot they could travel for work or they just like to go on holidays it could be someone like that you're dealing with that likes to just travel a lot and then we have family brings you down so it could be a family member Unblock me now, so you have some, this person on block. People please are habits. So this energy here, it could be that they, um, hang on, let's get the rest of the cards. Let's get the rest of the cards, and then I'll bevel after. Right, don't dig up old wounds. Then we have karmic soulmates. Competition, competing, opposition. I find myself comparing myself to you, interesting. And we have soul contract. You are under a soul contract with someone, twin flame soulmate, karmic. Which this, I love when the cards literally, when I'm, I don't look at them, I just literally let them fly out when I'm doing the piles. And this literally is telling a story right now with all the other cards with it. Then we have psycho. <laughs> no regard for what's right or wrong, displays violent or antisocial behaviour, mental instability. And then we have denial, refusing to face the truth. That one there, out the way, and then social media stalking fake profiles. Right, let me just see that that's in shot, guys. Yes, it's in shot. Okay, so cool. Um, so from what I'm seeing from pile one here, this could be a fact. Well, I, I do believe it is a family member, it could be someone that's like family to you, you know, someone that you've grown up with, it could even be a friend. Um, with the people, please, the habits. I feel like this person would make you feel like you were, were, um, how can I explain it? They would go overboard to make you look bad is what I'm picking up here. So, you know, say like something stupid, like clearing the table, it would be like this person would jump up to please that person and make you look like you're an ass, basically. That, those kind of things, you know, like just, just. This energy that I'm picking up with is that this energy really wants people to like them more more than you. Like there is jealousy here. There is strong jealousy here. You've put this person on block. You've literally blocked them, and I think that is why they are stalking your social media. You know, opening up pre uh, false, fake profiles here because it could be that you've sussed onto what they're doing, and then you're blocking that account. And they're so obsessed with you. Um. This person refuses to face the truth or that, you know, you don't want to know them no more. Um, Spirit is saying don't dig up old wounds. So maybe it is best that you've had, you have this, this person on block. It could be that this energy as well, what they do is they dig up things that are so, you know, hurtful to you. And they bring it up in front of people or they bring it up just to, just to show, you know, just to make you feel hurt, you know, to bring you down to make themselves feel better, you know? This is what they do to you. These karmic soulmates here, it do, it's not necessarily a romantic thing here. This doesn't matter, this can be anybody, you know, we come through our lives with karmic soulmates or karmics and, you know, you have to learn from those mistakes there. Um, and this person is always competing against you. Like I said, it's something so stupid, but it's like, oh, look at me. I'm, you know, I'm so perfect. They're an arsehole, you know. 
but you do have a soul contract with this person so it could be that maybe you're the type of person that literally would just block them instead of dealing with it you know you've not said how you feel you've not made them understand how you feel it could be because of this psycho card here it could be that because they are can be quite aggressive maybe violent you know they've got insta they're in they're unstable you don't want to push them over the edge you may be a bit scared of them pile one you know but this is where the contract comes in here is that if you don't deal with this situation it could be that you, this person will follow you into the next life you know so let's get some tarot cards here for you guys what ones am i drawn to i didn't even get any out i use these so tell me more about this energy that's given my, my pile one spirit the evil eye Tell me more about this energy here, please. Thank you. We had the Queen, right, okay, this is the Queen of Wands. Right, this energy could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. And as I said, it can be male or female. And this is someone that... Um, someone that is very pushy and could be a bit of a bully as well and, and quite unfriendly when it comes to you they're very jealous of you they're very manipulative and this is what we're getting from these cards here they will manipulate any situation any conversation and they're very spiteful okay this is what you're dealing with here um seven of wands standing your ground you know having to protect yourself and this is what you're having to do when it comes to this energy here because you you know maybe you're scared of them pile one you know but you're having to protect yourself that could be why you block them yeah look eight of cups this is someone that you've invested a long time with you know like i said i don't think this is romantic at all this is someone in a fa either a family member or a friend here pile one but you've had to walk away you know you deeply did care about this person and you overlooked all their faults but in the end it got to the stage that you have had to just walk away and leave them behind. Tell us a bit more about this um, energy that's given my pile ones the evil eye. So, right, we've got the full, we've got the page, so literally just, this is clarified, the social media stalking, five of wands, king of wands, nine of pentacles, Oh, I think, hang on, bear with me, power one, just give me a minute, tell me about this king of wands. Many spirit. Tell me about the King of Wands. Oh, no, it's easy to. Huh. Tell me about the King of Wands. I think with you, Pile One, this is a couple. This could even be your parents, but this is two people because these two are together fire sign again i feel like because it's family members maybe it's your own parents you know you take what resonates but it's a couple that you know that have done this to you for years that have belittled you have put you down you know the king of wands is very rude you know it can be quite forceful in you know you do what i say you do it now you know and, and abusive as well um so yeah, you're dealing with two toxic people here, and I do feel like it's family members here. Um, so where are we? That came out after. I wanted to clarify the King of Wands. You know, this could be someone's father. The King of Wands is someone that is a provider that provides for the family. It could be a business owner that you're dealing with. Um, someone that is financially secure as well. But it also could be you know, if you look at it in another way with this energy here, with the King of Pentacles, it could be someone that is not very successful in life, could be a gambler, 
um, and is very greedy. So I'm going to put that there with them. And then we've got the full. You want a new you want a new beginning. You want to start again. You want you want a fresh start away from this. You don't want to keep putting up with this um pile one, you know. You want to just take that leap of faith and go forward with it. But you've still got these energies here that are still not leaving you alone. It's like they're getting on your social media. And, you know, that could be how they're sending you the evil eye that way because they're looking at photographs of you, you know. Um, they don't like the fact that you're doing well for yourself. But I feel like it is a number of people that are doing this. It's like they're causing trouble online for you. It could be that they're even causing trouble from bringing outsiders in to try and get you to communicate with these people. Um, but, yeah, you're getting it from all angles here, Pi One. You're not just getting it from those two over there. You're getting it from multiple people here. You know, you are the Nine of Pentacles. You're doing all right on your own. You're living your best life. Well, you're trying to live your best life here. You know, you're single. Um, money's good at the moment. You could have started your own business. You're very successful. You're very abundant, you know. Look, you're working hard on yourself. You're working hard on your career. You're doing what's right for you. So tell us a bit more. Uh, tell me a bit more about this Five of Wands. Yeah, this is this is family. This is definitely family for you guys. This is someone that, you know, this this is a really strong feeling of parents here. You know, this is growing up with your parents, you know, feeling happy. Maybe you thought it was happy, but really your home life wasn't happy because you've got the devil with the Ten of Cups here. And I feel like your upbringing was very toxic. You're dealing with two toxic people that could be narcissistic, could have gaslighted you quite a lot. It could be that they're even addicted to drugs and alcohol and, like I said, gambling as well. Um, you know, they have these control issues when it comes to you. It's like I said, you do as you say. I find the, the King of Pentacles very forceful. I was going to ask about the devil. I feel like these these two here actually relied on you to maybe support them financially. You know, I feel like you brought a lot to the family and they don't like that you've taken that away from them. You brought about a big change. Yes, it was reckless what you did. Maybe you feel a bit guilty, but you brought about a big change in the situation. You decided, I'm, I'm done with this. Um, and you took charge of you took charge of the situation basically you took charge of your life pile one yeah look I do believe you withdrew the support that you were giving this couple here because five of pentacles is leaving someone out in the cold it's it's poverty and I feel like now they're, you know, they could have put you in some kind of poverty where they were taking everything from you. You know, you weren't able to keep what was yours. And now they're in that situation and they do not, they do not like that. But also the evil eye, I think, where they're, they're actually, the things that they're um, sending your way is that they're hoping this energy for you as well, that you're going to be alone, you're going to be depressed, you're going to be struggling, you're going to have, financial difficulties you know th this is the type of evil eyes that they're, they're sending towards you it's actually kind of cruel really tell me more about the devil
You know about the devil and the spirit. Oh. They want to go, but they're not going. Tell me more about the devil. Hmm. Yeah, they, this energy here, the devil energy, they, ow, you, they could not, they couldn't actually stop you from doing this, you know, leaving them behind, you know, you saw the light, you, you saw what they truly were, you decided to take back your power and go forward and live your best life, you know, you, you want happiness, you don't want toxicity here, and spirit is saying that you are, you are, in you know calmer waters now you've left all the trouble behind you and you've moved forward and you you know you you've got a calm life now so what advice would you have for my pile ones You know, with the cards that have come out, I, I do believe they really are hoping that things are, you know, your life is just going to fall apart and you're just going to come crawling back and that's what they keep hoping for. You know, that is the evil eyes when you just constantly think bad for someone, you know. Hangman. Spirit is saying, don't waste your time here. Nothing's going to change. You're always going to feel stuck. What more advice do you have for my poor ones? Look at this. Five of Swords. Just Spirit is saying, you need to admit defeat. It could be that you feel so, so bad for what you're doing to this couple over here but spirit needs wants you to know is that sometimes you've got to admit defeat and you've got to walk away because you're not going to win in this situation it's always going to be on their terms it's always going to be the way they want it to be you know and i do believe that you are accepting this or you have accepted this and you are closing the chapter you're done with this part of your life you, you've closed the door you're done you're moving on to better things But just try and secure your uh, social media a bit better because that's I think that is how they're really sending like negative energy towards you guys, okay? And I do believe there is multiple accounts that are being opened and like I said, you know, they just need to look at your picture and think, oh, you know, it, it's because I'm Turkish, we, we believe in, this is our thing really with the Turkish, I don't even know if you can see my big Turkish eye in the actual shot, but, um, you know, Anyone that just sits there and talk, you know, just thinks to themselves, oh God, I can't stand it. Oh God, I hate it. And then, then, then. Those are evil eyes. That is sending negative energy towards someone. And like I said, I do believe um, social media is a, a big problem with that. I mean, I've had a few problems with family members in the past year and I've had to literally lock down my account because I do not want them looking at my stuff because I believe in the evil eye. They only have to look at your picture and think bad things. And I've just babbled there, but anyway, my pile one. <laughs> I won't be doing a reading tomorrow. So you have a happy new year. I hope 2023 brings you everything you wanted. Take care. Hey, pile two. So if you chose Rose Quartz, this is your reading. So let's look at the energy of the person or people that are sending you the evil eye. We have someone that thinks they are deserving of maybe what you've got or they just believe that... that been picking up big ego here that they believe they deserve everything you know but it uh, picking up more that they feel like they deserve what you have you know and you don't so let's have a look we have this mistake cost me what matters we need to talk asap i'm gonna lay these down first guys and then we have Insecure tactics needs constant attention, validation or reassurance, whatever is going on, whatever is given is never fulfilling for very long. 
Then we have broken heart. My heart is broken over this situation. Okay. I'm, I'm picking up X here. X vibes. Drunken indulgence, bar hugging groupie. Bad habits, suffering from toxic addictions, traits, mindsets and behaviours. Blocked. Given no access, no updates, out of the loop. Yep, that's why I think that's a, uh, we need to talk ASAP. Clinging, clinging to something because it's familiar, let go to grow. I like that saying. And then we have entrapment, feeling trapped by pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Right, yo. Okay, I feel like this is an X, guys. I feel like you're dealing with an X in pile two. Um... So with the deserving, this is somebody that obviously, like I said, feels like they deserve everything you have, or it could be they feel like they deserve a second chance. You know, they deserve to be given a second chance here. They know that whatever they did to you, so I'm picking up maybe cheating here for you guys, is that they know that it cost them their relationship and they really want to talk to you at ASAP, but obviously I feel like you've got them on block, because have got blocked here. You're giving them no access to your life. You're not letting anybody tell them what is going on with you. I feel like, Poulter, you are done with them. You know, I feel like you're just not one of these groups that would forgive someone for infidelity, basically. Um, their heart is actually broken over this situation. They're They're... They can't get over it, but I also feel that your heart was broken over this situation more than theirs, basically. I feel like this person, the energy I'm picking up is an entitlement, you know. If, yeah, just entitled. Um, This energy here needs constant attention from you. So it could be that you are pregnant, you know, because you've got the pregnancy here. It could be that you do have children with this person, but this person is more of the child than your actual children here because they need constant reassurance, constant validation, you know. Um, and I feel like that actually drained you quite a lot. Um, and it was never enough. And I feel like even with the deserving here, you would give them, you know, you would treat them, you, you know, you'd do good things for them. And it was never enough. It was never fulfilling for long is what that card is saying. And I feel like the, the drunken indulgence here was the mistake here. They may have gone out one night, got drunk and a bra groupie, you know, hugging groupie, you know, things went a bit too far and you found out about it. So they could be suffering with alcohol addiction. It could be um, the way they think, which really makes sense with the deserving card. The entitlement is really strong in this reading. And they, you know, with the clinging here, I believe this is more for you guys, Paul, too. I believe that, you know, maybe you, because it's familiar, Spirit wants you to just let it go because it's not doing you any good. But it also could be that because you're more like mother hen or father hen to this person and you give them that validation that they need all the time, you know, the constant attention, they feel like, they can't let this go because you're, I feel like codependency issues here as well. So this is the energy that's come through for you, Paul. Um, two, let's get, oh, not elbow. Connect tennis elbow, don't really help. Stretching like that. Just give a little massage. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at this energy some more. So Spirit, tell me more about this energy that's giving my Paul twos the evil eye. Tell me more about the energy here. What what evil eye are they sending my pole twos? Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this clarifies exactly what I just said about these cards here. The Knight of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. This is a Knight of Wands, someone who is very immature. It could be they're emotionally immature as well. You know, they've not developed in the way, say, some people would. And this could be why they need constant validation from you, like a child, basically. This is an energy that doesn't know how to deal with situations. They think more with their, their, you know, downstairs bits. And they're in and out all the time. They've got no staying power. They And this is a cheater, basically. The Knight of Wands is a cheater. And don't forget, these could be energies, guys. It can be female as well. We've got Justice here. Five of Swords, the Hermit, the Chariot. Okay, so more about this energy here.
picking up with this energy here that they they abuse the situation when, when it comes to you it could be even abuse in your relationship as well which i hope not um And I feel like this energy here had never stuck up for you neither. I felt like it that you just that he or she would just allow people to treat you like crap. I feel like they twisted the story with this justice here, you know? They twisted the story and people would judge you, not the other way around. I'm picking up very manipulative manipulative energy here, you know, and you made a decision here to take it upon yourself to, you know, speak the truth. And decide what was good for you you know and you you made that decision and you just was like i'm done with this you know and that is justice at the end of the day that's part of their karma for what they've done they've taken advantage for too long we've got the five of swords you know this person's not wanting to admit defeat they're not wanting to admit that you have walked away from them and you've chose a different direction they're still holding on then we have the hermit here um, and the chariot yeah you've gone you've you've gone hermit mode on them you like you know um with this given no access out of the loop you've gone quiet basically you know you're taking time out for yourself it could even be that they've gone a bit quiet and you're wondering why have they gone quiet but there is forward movement here there is someone coming to see you could even be in their vehicle but this is someone taking charge. This is someone that is coming um, towards you. But I feel like it's going to be failed plans here. I feel like they're going to fail. They're not going to be able to get what they want because of the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the chariot. We've got the lovers. We've got the grandmaster which is um blah, 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 high reference and the queen of con coins so you could have been married to this person you could have actually been married to this person but i feel like from these three cards here that they stepped out of the connection you know they stepped out of this connection and they chose somebody else and i feel like they chose a queen of queen of coins here earth sign um taurus virgo capricorn here gemini energy here as well and we've got taurus energy here as well guys oh and libra yeah i feel like they stepped out of the connection for this queen of pentacles here um someone that was you know shallow basically this like they chose someone shallow over you but i feel like they you know the chariot like i said they, they want to come forward they want to communicate with you and it could be because they want to choose you they want to get back with you they want to start again with you you know and the choice is actually yours you know they want to fix the marriage here but it also could be because this person relies on you for financial stability here you know what you can give them Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. Ooh. Tell me more about the oh, oh. tell me more about the lovers, please, spirit. Yeah, look, they want to smooth things over. They want to fix things. And like I said, they actually want to fix the marriage. They want to fix the connection here. We've got the Ace of Swords here. This is truth and clarity. So, you know, you already know the truth. The truth was revealed to you. And Spirit's also saying what I'm saying is the truth as well. So...
So what is, what are they, oh, Spirit, what is this energy sending to my pole twos? What, what evil eye are they sending to my pole twos? Oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Oh. <laughs> right, we have the Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, Lilith. which is the High Priestess, and four is the Emperor. I just got to get used to these cards and the Ace of Coins. <laughs> so the evil eye that they're hoping, you know, that, you know, will happen to you basically is that you, you're going to be really heartbroken over this situation, that you're just going to be really grieving for them, you know, that you're going to really miss them. And um, it could also be that they are glad that there is a third party here as well. It could be that they're rubbing in third parties in your face. Um... Bear with me a minute, guys. This literally, they they are really hoping that you are suffering for the loss of them. But I really don't think you are, guys. I really don't. But this is what they're they're really hoping for. You know that they sit there thinking, yeah, you know she's bitter and twisted or he's bitter and twisted because you know this is an energy here you know the queen of swords has been deeply hurt you know the the wound goes really deep and this did really hurt you and they're actually quite glad that 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 is the case and they're hoping that this is still the case here but i think you're actually over it now and the nice thing is here guys you can see through their crap from a mile away you can see the silly little games um that they play with you this is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here as well. Um, then you've got the Empress here. You know, they hate that you are seen as the Empress. The Empress has to go through a lot, which makes sense. The Queen of Wands has gone through a lot of heartache. You know, the Empress goes through, um, sorry, not the Empress, the High Priestess. She... You know, this is someone that still has a lot of secrets, someone that's not told you everything, that still holds back on revealing it. Maybe there are things that you're not aware of, how deep this actually goes. Um, but with Lilith here, I feel like because you're the Queen of Swords, you you are so strong-minded, you know, your intuition is usually spot on as well. But I feel like this this energy um, what are they doing? I feel like they want to control the the narrative. You know, they want to control the situation here. You know, they want to control what actually comes out and what doesn't come out. They want things their way. Because um, with the, the Emperor here, you've got, you know, the Emperor likes control. They like things done in a certain way. They want things done their way. But the Emperor's also, if seen negatively, this is the Divine Masculine, and I don't believe they are the Divine Masculine. They're actually seen as kind of weak. But I do believe as well that you even could be the emperor here, guys, you know, the divine masculine. You could have a lot of masculine traits here. It could be that you are someone in authority, you know, Queen of Swords is that way. You are going to take control of the situation and not be pushed around and not be lied to as well. Ace of Coins. They're hoping, you know, the evil eye that they're sending you is that you're not going to have this bright future, that, that you're not going to... 
you know, move forward, you know, start start again because this is a second chance at starting again. It's moving moving on, it's maybe buying a new home, start you know, start again, travelling, a new career, you know, it comes with everything. It's just pure abundance and that is the evil eye that's sending you know, being sent your way that you're not gonna achieve this. They're hoping that you're so heartbroken that you are going to just go back to them, that you're just going to forgive it all. But you're not because you are the Queen of Swords. You're very defensive at the moment when it comes to this person. You're, your guards are up, your walls up. You're not wanting to let these barriers down. In, I don't think it's the first time that this person has done this to you. So, Spirit, what advice do you have? What advice do you have here? You know, the Ace of Swords was on the back and then we've got Lilith here, which is the High Priestess. So I do believe the truth will be revealed to you, you know, more of the truth. Because Lilith is all about, you know, secrets. So the advice to you from Spirit is... <laughs> You've got the Two of Cups, you've got the Five of Wands, and then here we go with the sneaky energy here. So this is someone that believes that you're their soulmate, you know, that you, that you both have this deep affection and attraction towards one another. You have this deep commitment to one another, you know, it's two people being in love, but that is not the case that's not the case for you that's not the truth for you is what spirit is saying your relationship has been nothing but arguments you know a lot of fighting a lot of discord between the both of you um there's been a lot of outside influences that's that has affected this relationship here this connection because this energy here is the seven of swords and the spirit is saying the advice to you is is that you know they could come back and say they love you and blah 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 but they are the seven of swords this is someone that lies this is someone that cheats, steals, sneaking around trying to get away with everything. You know, tell me more about the Seven of Swords, Holy Spirit, before I close this reading. Just tell me about the Seven of Swords. So, you know, you, this energy here doesn't know the truth if it come up and slapped them in the face. Or can't speak their truth. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. What's this energy up to? sneaky energy is here because this was on the back of the deck and we've got the ace of cups here this is someone that wants a second chance they want to start again they want to start afresh but can you trust them because of the seven of swords we've got the tower here and i think this is actually really going to shock you i think i feel like you are going to be so surprised by this maybe the audacity of the per <laughs> the energy here is what i'm picking up and it's like oh or it could be that it confuses you that maybe you guys do want to give it another go but can you trust them so like you know you've settled yourself and this person's going to come in and actually disrupt this by telling you they want a second chance with you this has been a long time coming though so you could have been apart for a while now but this energy here has taken their time and they've planned you know and they want to come forward and they want to communicate this with you. But they have taken a long while. But it's whether you can trust them again or not. Because I'm not seeing very much trusting energy here at all. So I'm going to leave it there, part two. You have a wonderful New Year's. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, part three. So if you chose this one... <laughs> I <laughs> can't even remember what this one is. I think it's Epitrain or whatever it was. <laughs> Just ignore me. Um, so let's see who's giving you the evil eye path. Part three. <laughs> I can't fucking talk now. Um, so this could be someone that's... Um, just achieve something so it could be like study you know maybe passing exams it could be that they celebrate an anniversary um but they've achieved something 
that they've been working on for quite a long time. Let's have a look. Then we have, they have more money than you. So yeah, they could be in a position that they, you know, that is, even could have actually given them a promotion here. So it could be someone that just got promoted and they're earning a lot of money. Um, then we've got, I want someone else to explore other options. Charming. Um, bigger mooch opportunities. Let me just get the rest of the cards here, guys, if I can. Then we have, what does he see in you that he doesn't see in me? Okay. Instagram groupie, attention seeker, ego driven. A secret romantic relationship or pattern of flirting. Oh, this is interesting, Palfrey. I know he is in love with you. I feel it. Okay. This is somebody that's after your person. Ooh. Um, you got more cards, by the way, Palfrey. Don't tell the others. <laughs> right, a fan can't keep your name out of their mouth. Doesn't know you, but is obsessed with your life. This is, sounds like a freaking stalker. Um, whistleblower. Someone can't keep a secret. Runs off and tells your business. Exposed information here. And then we've got low key, under the radar, not giving yourself away, being to, being to yourself, not causing attention. Then you have separate, separation, breakup. Oh, I think this might be their ex. Gossip, envy, pettiness and jealousy. Wow. Wow, Paul Free. <laughs> <laughs> so this could be someone that likes to boast on social media that they have more money than you. You know, they like to boast all the good things that's going on here. Um... There's two scenarios here that I'm picking up, guys, okay? So take what resonates, right? So it could be that this is your partner and this is their ex, or it could be your partner has left you for this karmic here, okay? So what I'm seeing here is like, with, I want to explore other options. That's why I'm saying it could be that they've left you for this person. Um, and do believe that you've been accused of being the beggar and the mooch and the opportunist here you know this is what this person likes to tell people about you is that you you know you're beneath them basically um but this energy here as well doesn't can't seem to get it around their head what does he he or she see in you and they don't like that you know, it could be that they're floating, you know, they're, they're flaunting their money and their wealth around, you know, to try and lure your per partner in. You know, I can give you more here. Um, but this could be, like I said, it could be that your partner is dealing with a karmic here and you're not aware of it, where you are now. Um, or you you are aware of it. But it could be because they're they're having a thing with this karmic here you know the secret romantic relationship flirting but this energy is so obsessed with you um and they know this person loves you so this this is like all over the place at the moment it's like so many scenarios it could be that this person's gone off with with that your person could have gone off with this karmic or it could be that they're cheating on you with a karmic or it could be that it's just their ex but like Instagram, they like to post things. They like to show, you know, they've got such a big ego. They like to show what they've got. They like to rub it in, you know, but they're, they're actually envious of you. And I do believe it's because you're with the person that they want or they want the person that you're with, you know. Um, you are a type of person that you're low key. You don't draw attention to yourself because you're not like this energy. You don't need to do that, which is fantastic, Pearl Free. Um, but yeah, this person is obsessed with your life. I'm picking up more strong vibes here is that you are with the person that they want or were with. Um, it could be someone that you even knew at one time as well, you know, and would gossip about you and or maybe go and tell your person that you told them something or what have you, you know, to cause trouble between the relationship here. But I am picking up strong vibes is that the karmic and your person split up and they're just so obsessed with you. There's so much here. I feel like there's just so many different scenarios here for you, Pole Free. So like I said, just take what resonates. Um, tell me more about this um, energy here that's giving my... Okay, I don't even speak there. Thanks. <laughs> what have we got? Oh. Two of Pentacles. Death. 
yeah okay right okay nine of cups so for majority of you this energy here they hate the fact that right two pentacles is juggling okay and i feel like maybe your partner juggled both of you but they chose you or there is juggling going on here but i'm picking up more of there there was juggling but they chose you they put an end to the relationship with the karmic here you know death is endings here um and they chose you you're there you're their wish fulfillment you are their um I've literally my mind has just gone blank you bring them a lot of fulfillment. They see you as wish fulfillment here, but this energy here is so greedy, they just do not want to let go. You look, you are the Empress, and this is the thing. This is what they can't stand about you. You are the Divine Feminine here. Whether you're male watching this, you can still be the Divine Feminine. We have Masculine Feminine in us. Um, but yeah, you are the Empress. You are... You are so loving and loyal you know you're caring you look after people you give you know you you're just beautiful inside and out and this person can't stand this about you you just have to think about you that like you know you are low-key but they don't have what you have they have to use material things to get what they want and bitchiness and lies and you know just pure toxicity basically Tell us a bit more here, Spirit. Tell us more about this person that's giving my path freeze, the evil eye. Yeah, look, the lovers. They want to be picked. They want your person to choose them. And they can't let go of this connection. This is where the bitterness comes in from. And they're trying to affect your connection here. You know, they're hoping your relationship is going to just, you know, that they can mess it up for you. The thing is, though, this person is so stubborn. They are standing their ground on this. It's like they're not going to give up until they get what they want. And they, you know, they want this um, Ace of Pentacles. They want a, a second chance with this energy, this this karmic wants a second chance with your person here and the way they're trying to do it is offering them money you know or material worth or material things so what should the, my pathways be aware of in regards to this uh, energy here spirit this again guys the empress you guys are the empress they've got no chance you're the divine feminine go freaking do one so we've actually got the tower the hierophant and the high priestess so i asked what just now what you need to be aware of this person is not going to give up guys they're going to cause a disruption in your life they're actually going to try and bring down your security you know and your stability here they're trying to break it down um it's like they just can't they don't want to give up they're not giving up and this is what i'm saying about the seven of wands here they're just so stubborn about it they're so full of themselves what an arsehole you know the hierophant here you're in a in a committed relationship here you're you know you and your person are committed to one another here but this is what they want they want this they want your life basically is what I'm picking up like stalker vibes it's actually really creepy and then you've got the high priestess here this is um someone that can be very ignorant someone that doesn't see things for what they are you know I don't know more about the tower tell me about the tower tell me about the tower
Page of Pentacles. This is someone that's making a plan at the moment. They're planning something because they want something to go their way. What are they planning, Spirit? What are they planning? Jeez, guys, I think you guys need holy water. <laughs> this energy here, this is like herbal three parts. I think this is the creepiest one of them all. This is like someone that is gun ho for your life, basically. What are they planning? Tell me about the page of pentacles. Thank you. Eight of swords, nine of pentacles, and the ace of. No, hang on. Sorry, the two of coins. No, not two of coins. Aces. No. I think these are actually extra cards in the deck. The muses. But anyway, so what they're planning is, is to mess with your head basically with the eight of swords here. This is someone that wants you to feel trapped, wants you to feel like you, it's just pure confusion. It's like they're going to start messing with your head. How they're going to do that, I don't know. I need to clarify that. But they're going to start messing around with your head and it's going to cause you to be in your head a lot, you know. And not being able to see wh whether it's the truth or not. They hate the fact that you're living your best life, you know. You're doing very well for yourself. Even though you don't might not have as much as them, it doesn't matter. You, When they look at... See, when I look, see this card here, guys, is when they look on your social media, they see this you, this person like just so happy and loving life you know and and doing things that make you happy and they cannot stand this about about you they hate that you're happy and you're doing really well picking up with this card here is that Spirit is saying they need to walk away, but they're not wanting to walk away, you see? They feel like they've got this connection to your person, you know, they feel like that maybe they're soulmates, but they're not. You are connected to your partner, you two are the soulmates, and this is the little person at the bottom there, and they cannot stand this with this card. But I want to know about this Eight of Swords, tell me about the Eight of Swords. They want you, they're, they're going to start messing with your head here, Palfrey. They want you to end things with your part, your person here. They want you to just close the door on the relationship. Um, and they feel like this is fair. You know, they feel like this is justice because they chose you instead of them. Um, you know, this is someone that is frustrated because they're not getting what they want, you know. This is someone that is very abusive, like, you know, they're abusing abusing the situation, basically. They're abusing 
abusing you and this is going to literally put you in the eight of swords and i hope that's not what's going to happen i hope you realize that don't let them manipulate you in that sense what advice do you have for pole three what advice spirit do you have for my pole three someone that's just so toxic this is someone that's like got a vendetta towards you so i said you might need holy water um what advice would you give my pole three i mean they could end up spreading gossip about your person and this person here you know making up lies here but it's not true. I'm not seeing anything here about your person being unfaithful or anything like that. I'm seeing just this this energy has literally dominated the whole reading. I mean, if anything, I'm actually feeling quite drained from your reading. Tell me more. What, what advice would you have for them, Spirit? What advice would you have for my pile, please? Right, when this starts happening, okay, um, when this starts actually happening, happening, Spirit wants you to just don't stress, don't get in the Eight of Swords if you can help it, take time out, think things through, you know, go rest, rest your mind, don't start stressing about it because it's not true, whatever they're going to be doing is not true. What more advice would you have? This person's putting you under a lot of stress at the moment, but Spirit wants you to just take some time out for yourself. Stop worrying about it, basically. What more advice do you have? Seven of Cups, Five of Wands. Hmm. Right, Spirit's advice to you is the choice is up to you, okay? You can either allow this person to manipulate you, cause you a lot of stress. I know it's easier said than done, but it's up to you whether you want to engage in war with this person because with the five of um, ones, it's, it's being attacked, it's being verbally attacked. It could be physically attacked. But I feel it's more verbally attacked, you know. It could be as well that, you know, causing conflicts within your relationship here as well. You know, the choice is yours whether you are going to allow this person to do that. What more advice would you give my pile phrase? I'll take them. Then we've got the strength, the magician... Um, the Three of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So Spirit says you're strong. You guys are strong people. You you know, you are strong-minded, strong-willed. You know, you were the Empress twice. You know, the Empress has come out. So, you know, you can rise above anything here. And you are stronger than this person. Strong-minded. You know, and I don't feel like they're going to they're gonna get their way with you, Pile Free. You know, you've got the tools. You know how to use your tools when it comes to dealing with this person. And maybe, you know, use a bit of a manip manipulation on your part as well. You know, if they want to play the game, you can play the game as well if you feel like it. Um, Three of Wands is... I feel like you're waiting for this person to just give up. But... Spirit is saying that maybe you need to turn your back on this person and just not rise to it because you do have the tools to do that. You are a strong person here, you know. You you would rise above this energy here. Spirit is asking you to not let go of your connection with your person, you know. Protect yourself as well. Hold on to what is yours. Don't let this person get their way with you. But yeah, a lot of the evil eyes come in with your um, being aimed towards you because they want something that you have. I mean, like I said, they could have had it before you and this energy chose you and this karmic really can't stand this. They hate this about you. So 
I'm going to leave it there, my pal Freeze. You have a wonderful new year, and I hope 2023 brings you all your dreams and your wishes and what have you. You take care. Bye.